types of pirates you find on the Sea of Thieves. Ladies and gentlemen, that is what I'm here to explain to you guys today. Who you're going to find out on the seas. This is all the typical groups of people that play this game we're going to be covering today. It's all a little bit of a meme, so don't get upset if you're one of these people. Plus, at the very end of this video, guys, something very special for all of you guys out there. So make sure you hang around to the end to see what that is. If you do go ahead and enjoy this one, make sure you lightly press the like button for me. And uh, hit the subscribe button if you would, because I just checked my freaking analytics. Guess what? 95.9% .9 of you aren't subscribed. What the fuck? <laughs> Tuck Lords. Now, if you've ever played Sea of Thieves, I'm sure you've come across one of these pirates before. Always wearing all black to try and camouflage when they're uh, tucking, hiding on someone's ship. These guys are always going to claim that they invented the Tuck outfit, which is the all black outfit that you see them striding around so proudly. I wonder who really invented it, though. These guys are pretty great at PvP combat, but... Uh, they often just neglect their ship simply for the thrill of the fight or to hide on your ship. Make sure to keep these guys off your ship and you should be in the clear. Next up are the Crabs and Karen... Cra Karen? Karen Lords? Crabs and Kraken Lords. These people are usually still <laughs> relatively new to the game, and they believe that these two outfits are some of the coolest, most epic outfits in the game. They also think that these outfits are a sign of their progression in the Sea of Thieves. And, I mean, they're, they're not wrong. Uh, keep grinding, boys. You you'll get there one day. Usually good enough to collect loot, but uh, not good enough to keep the loot. The newbie sailor. Now, we can't make too much fun of this guy. We were all there at one point. You distinguish these guys by their basic sailor outfit and their ability to run into walls, fall off the ship, walk in circles, and play music 24-7. Probably best to leave these guys alone. Let them grow. Let them let them form into something more. Wait until they're a crab or kraken lord, then you can take their stuff. The arena sweat. <laughs> these guys are always wearing the full glorious sea dog or the other one, the blue glorious sea dog. Now, admittedly, these guys are usually pretty good at the game, but they're also some of the most toxic players out there. Prepare to get called bad, get bucketed water when they kill you, and for them to spam rolls on deck laughing. For some strange reasons, these guys feel the need to put their characters in their profile pictures on social media for who knows why. The comms grinder. The total completionist, this guy has done freaking everything apart from maybe kill the shrouded ghost. Because it doesn't exist. Legends of the Sea of Thieves, the Gold Curse, you name it, they've done it. Their typical play session, just a chill little play session, usually stretches for about 12 hours. And I mean, I mean, surely they don't have much of a social life outside of the Sea of Thieves. The Loot Stacker. Drop the anchor, there's loot in the water. What? No, we're not selling until we get off. Why would we sell halfway through our session? These guys inevitably sink, not because of the weight of the large amount of loot on board, but because of the rest of the server has been chasing them for the last four hours. To be totally honest with you guys, I, I can be a bit of a loot stacker myself. I love the thrill of actually having something to lose. The Survivalist. Now these guys will run. And I mean run, they will fucking panic, they'll lose their shit. Oh my god, there's a fucking ship on the fucking horizon, oh my god! They will 
bolt if they see another ship. Even if the only loot they have is this white chicken. You, you chase these guys for hours. They know how to sail, but they know how to sail in the opposite direction of any player out there. These also seem to be the same people that whine about having PvE servers or single player mode. Shut up. Shut. Up. The Captain. You can often find the Captain on the Xbox Looking For groups because they state, Looking for crew, but I am the Captain. I started like morphing into the voice there. Look at, look at. Hey! Look at me, sure. Look at me, sure. I'm the Captain now. They will always refer to the ship as their ship. It's nobody else's ship, it's theirs, because they're the captain, obviously. And your ship cosmetics will never be as good as what they have. If you don't do as the captain says, you often end up in the brig. The Thrill Seeker. These guys tend to never really get much done. No patience, no effort. If there isn't immediate enjoyment, then they'll either be off the ship or in the cannon, ready to get off the ship. I find these guys don't end up sticking with Sea of Thieves for too long. They're usually the type of game that just don't have the patience for a game like this. Like, don't get me wrong, Sea of Thieves is so much fun, but it's not fun 24 seven. You have to sail to certain parts of the map and you have to do this and do that. Sometimes it's not fun, but when it is fun, it's, it's, it's very fun. This isn't the same clothes I was wearing at the start of the video. Now there is one more uh, group of pirates that I wanted to share with you guys uh, today. It's probably one that you've never heard of, mainly because we kind of made, came up with it today, launching today, is the Middle Tier. A group of, uh, of three pirates who uh, kind of, you know, we're not, we're not the worst of the game, but we're definitely not the best, and that's where the name comes from. Now what we are is pretty much a new Sea of Thieves group that runs monthly uh, server events and giveaways in fact, the first giveaway has begun right now. We're giving away a Black Dog set. This pretty rare uh, outfit in Sea of Thieves. I don't even have it myself. I wish I could just take it. <laughs> but we're giving away uh, one of these. Link is going to be below how to enter that giveaway. We've kind of relaunched my old Discord into this new uh, middle tier Discord. It's going to be great. We're doing a server alliance. In, in fact, in just a few hours, what's the time? I don't know. Uh, so if you want to be involved in something like that, we're going to be grinding Fort of the Dam with emissaries, with a whole server. It's going to be epic. I highly recommend joining the Discord below. Link is in the description as well. Where I'll be in the middle tier is going to be a name that you're going to hear a lot more in the Sea of Thieves community. So come and be a part of it. Join in the fun. It's going to be awesome. Like I said, giveaway link below. Discord link below. But that is going to do this video today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you didn't get too upset if I mentioned the kind of person you are on the seas. And let me know if I missed some kind of uh, class of pirate that, you know, you see on the Sea of Thieves a lot, you know, and I've somehow... And I uh, didn't cover them in today's video. Never know, maybe we'll do a part two. We'll see how you guys like this one. Remember to lightly touch the like button, and I will see you next time.